Hey guys, what's up? This is Derek with OMG, it's Derek.com, and in today's video, we're discussing how to get the best sound out of your microphone when you're live streaming, whether you're using Streamlabs OBS, OBS Studio, or any other version of OBS that somebody might have repackaged. Before we actually jump into the settings, let me preface this by saying that one of the first things you should do is get your microphone as close to your mouse mouth as possible. Uh, whether you use a, a mic stand that comes from the side or you can buy a mic stand that clips to your desk or whether you just have it front and center of you sitting right in front of you on your desk. It doesn't matter, but you wanna get your mic as close as possible to your mouth so that that is the loudest source of information coming into the microphone and not different background noises and things like that. So with that said, first thing we wanna do is jump into the actual settings of OBS. Again, whether you use OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS or any other version, you can get to this by clicking the gear icon uh, at the top right of Streamlabs OBS or click in the settings button in OBS Studio. Once you're in there, we wanna click the audio tab and in OBS Studio, you'll have a couple more options, but we don't need those. Uh, the only thing you wanna do here under the audio tab is make sure that your mic is set to whatever microphone it is that you actually use when you're live streaming. If you leave it as the default, What'll happen sometimes, or what I'll see people do, is they might have a couple different microphones. For example, they might have an actual microphone for live streaming, like a Blue Yeti, which is what I currently use, or, or some other brand. And then they might also have a microphone on their gaming headset. And maybe when they use Skype on their computer, uh, they use their gaming headset's microphone. And so what'll happen is, if you leave that as default, if for any reason you don't have your main live streaming microphone selected in your normal settings in your recording tab here if this isn't selected as the default and it's just set to something else like your headset turtle beach z300 then it'll default to that device so if you set this as the microphone that you use whenever you're streaming you'll make sure that your settings always work properly and that you're always using the correct mic outside of that we're done so we'll hit apply done you're set there. The next thing you wanna do is make sure that your desktop audio is set a little bit less than your microphone audio. The reason for this is that you wanna make sure that your voice is, over, is heard over top of any other game volume or music volume or whatever else may be coming through the live stream. In OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS, you have sliders beneath each audio source under your mixer and you can adjust that just by sliding it down. Personally, I like to keep my desktop audio about five decibels quieter than my microphone audio. You can adjust this to your taste depending on, you know, if you get people in your live stream saying they can't hear you and you have your mic turned all the way up, then you might need to bring your desktop audio down a little more. Again, for my setup, this is what works for me, but the reason in behind it is that you wanna have your mic you talking louder so that everybody can hear you clearly. Once that's adjusted, we're gonna click the gear icon underneath your microphone or mic slash aux, and we're gonna click on filters. To start, you will not have any filters listed here and you'll need to click the plus icon. Once you click the plus icon, you'll be able to select what type of filter you want to add. We're going to add noise suppression, noise gate, and compressor. I have gain listed here as well. You don't actually need it set, um, but it's one that you can use if after you set all of these, you realize your mic's a little quiet and you wanna boost the level of the microphone, you can just add a gain on the end. But the three major ones are noise suppression, noise gate, and compressor. And I like to have those in that order. All right, so before we jump into the levels for each of these, I wanna preface this by saying, most videos on YouTube that show how to add these filters and how to get the best mic settings in OBS, 
They tell you to add these filters and then they simply tell you, you'll need to adjust each of the different levels here for your individual setup. But nobody actually explains what these filters do, which then leaves a lot of new streamers scratching their head or doing a bunch more Google searches trying to figure out, okay, but what do I set them to? How do I know where to start? So I'm gonna try to explain each one to you and hopefully you'll not only know to add these, but you'll also be able to figure out how to adjust them to your individual uh, levels because you are going to have to do that dependent on things like where your mic is positioned, whether it's very close to your mouth or whether it's further away on your desk, um, whether you have a lot of background noise or a little bit of background noise, things like that. First, jumping into noise suppression. What noise suppression does, what this filter does, is it takes any background noise in your room and unless it registers over whatever decibel this is, it cuts it out. Let's say you have your desktop computer on your desk, which I do sitting right off here to the side, and your fans are running. Well, what will normally happen is your mic will pick up your voice, but people will also be able to hear the other background noise like the fans in your computer running. And so by setting this suppression level, unless the noise peaks, that means goes over, for example, in my case, minus 15 decibels, it won't pick that sound up. It will suppress it. So you don't get things like your computer fans running in the background. The second photo you wanna add is a noise gate. This is really simple, but it seems to get a lot of people confused. A noise gate simply opens and closes your microphone. Think of it as an on and off switch for your microphone. It opens any time that it picks up sound that is greater than whatever it is that you set your open threshold to. Mine set at minus 25. So anytime there is a noise that registers in the levels of the microphone higher than negative 25 decibels, it opens the microphone and allows that signal to be processed. Once I stop talking, or any time, this is the close threshold, there is a sound, there's no sound greater than negative 32 decibels, it turns off the microphone. Again, it helps get rid of a lot of unwanted background noise. Right now you're thinking, okay, you have a noise gate. So if you're not talking, it won't pick up the fans in your computer. You're correct. But when I am talking, it'll pick up any noise in the room if I only have a noise gate. So if I'm talking, some people say, okay, it doesn't pick up my fans, but as soon as I start talking, I can hear the fans in my computer. So that's where the noise suppression helps on top of the noise gate. So this is just a switch of whether the mic is on or off. So again, if I quit talking, the mic, if there's no sound registering, negative 32 decibels, it'll turn off the microphone. That way it doesn't pick up anything, any type of background noises, anything, the mic is off. Anytime I go over, negative 25 decibels, the mic comes on. The noise suppression helps that when I am talking, it still helps suppress background noise of things like my computer fans. So I, I hope that explains it well. If not, ask me in the comments, I'll try to do a better job. Your close threshold, you want it to be set a little bit less in decibels, that way you don't accidentally start clipping your voice. Because as you naturally speak, your voice rises and falls, and so you wanna make sure you're staying above that close threshold or else you'll be getting clipped off your voice. So if you hear people in your stream saying, hey man, it seems like you're cutting out all of a sudden, it's probably because your close threshold is too close to your open threshold. And so you'll wanna drop that down to maybe, you know, I have it set at negative 32. So if I was clip my voice was getting clipped at the end of sentences, especially, I might wanna drop this down to negative 35 or even negative 40. And last but not least, a compressor. So what does a compressor do? So the compressor helps with sudden changes in volume in the mic input. That means, let's say you're in League of Legends, having an awesome match, and all of a sudden out of nowhere the jungle ganks you and you die, and you're like, oh my God, and you scream. Compression helps take the highest highs and the lowest lows of your audio and bring them more towards the middle. Again, we gotta think of audio as a waveform. It goes up and down depending on how loud you're talking or how so soft you're talking. So if I whisper, it's down here. If I talk loud, it's up here. 
compression tries to keep everything towards the middle so that there's not a drastic change. So that let's say somebody's got you on in the living room on their TV watching your live stream and all of a sudden you yell at the top of your lungs because of something that happens in the game, you don't scare the shit out of them. At least it helps with that. That's what each of these filters do and hopefully that'll help you adjust the settings better inside of them. And again, when you add these different uh, filters, it can affect your gain, your overall volume of your microphone and make it much quieter. And there comes a point where you just can't increase it anymore here and you don't wanna turn down your audio volume anymore because then people just can't hear their game, the game audio volume on your stream. And so what you can do is add the gain filter and just increase the gain a bit to overall increase the sound coming from your microphone past the 100% here uh, under the mixer option right here. Okay, and that's it guys. So that will be uh, how you'll get the best sound out of your OBS. Now again, just like I said at the beginning, having the microphone closer to your mouse, what mouth will help you get better sound in audio and better quality audio. Also things like having soundproofing in your uh, recording space, your live streaming space. You'll see people have those uh, square foam panels and stuff on the wall to help absorb excess echoes and stuff. So things like that will help. But in terms of just strictly getting the best sound out of OBS, uh, that'll help you out tremendously. So I hope this was helpful. I hope I explained it a little better than a lot of other streamers do in their YouTube videos and actually let you guys understand what the filters actually do. Um, and if I did, please leave a big like on the video. It helps me out so much. Um, I appreciate it so much. And if you guys want more uh, gaming tips, live streaming tips, uh, hit the subscribe button. I release new videos constantly in which I try to release information as I learn it live streaming myself uh, to help you guys better your live streams as well. Until next time, guys, peace out, everybody. Uh -huh.